All right, guys, here at my local Publix, time to go shopping for Christmas Eve dinner. So let's go in here and see what we can find. All right, so they got quite the variety out here. I don't see one that I like, so I'm gonna get the missus back there to cut me one. Four bone off the chuck in, baby. All right, guys, there it is. Off the check in, baby. Four bone. Cha ching. Guess what's in Publix now, baby? That W sauce. Get us a couple of those. Gotta have it. Okay, back home with our prime rib. We're gonna get it trimmed up good. It's got a big, fat cap silver skin layer on there that won't render at all. Once you get it trimmed up like you want it, we're gonna actually French the bones on this one to make it nice and pretty since it is Christmas. So uh, we're gonna remove that tail. We're gonna cut in between each bone, get everybody cleaned up. Don't throw those pieces away. That's the old chef snack. But you can get as serious as you want to as far as cleaning up those bones, but I think that looks good to me. Hit it with that W sauce, baby. Let it sit about 15, 20 minutes. Season it up with Lane's SPG and my absolutely freaking killer AP rub. Throw some rosemary on there. Get it tied up. I'm using the old roll tisserie today. You can see I got my chef snacks on there as well. Throw that baby on there. Just let it keep on rocking and rolling until it hits an internal temp of 120. We're going to pull it out. We're going to let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes. Slice that baby right down the middle. Look at that wall-to-wall -wall pink. Get in there, get you a few slices, and it's going to be time to plate it up. Well, guys, the family's waiting on me to eat Christmas Eve dinner. There ain't but one thing left to do. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to go in for that bite, baby. I'm going to tell you guys, this is how we do Christmas Eve dinner at Bama's house. Because it's absolutely freaking killer. I hope y'all have the merriest Christmas ever. Cheers, guys. Love y'all.